Hi. Hello, guys. This is what about Nintendo. And we should be live with another live stream. Gonna be covering the Nintendo Direct, obviously. Nintendo Direct, for, uh, not predictions. Uh, reactions. That's what this stream is all about. I'm gonna get into a call with Andres Restart in a bit once he's ready. But I thought I'd go live, do my intro, everything set up. The music might actually be too loud. Um, I actually turned that down on my end, so... Because when Andres gets in the call, it's gonna need to be pretty loud so you guys can hear him um but i haven't shared anything yet so we actually share all that kind of stuff now while we're live torrid fangirl ooh, ooh hello bruh we got webby lozano was in here earlier and josh was in here a while back reasons and raisins hello how are you doing why am i hungry all of a sudden i just had lunch earlier <laughs> random but i am hungry sucks sucks to suck at life. Uh, I need to share the stream, so let's do that. Full screen on that. I. Um, watch the direct with me. I'll also be on. Hyped the link hashtags. That's fine. Uh, the thumbnail. Do, 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 do. Sorry if you're commenting. I'm gonna get to you in a a bit. Just sharing out the stream real quick. Real right. Then I'll jump in a call with Andres, because I assume he's going to be live either now or very soon. Discord. And we'll put it on Instagram, even though nobody follows me on Instagram. And I don't really want people to follow me on Instagram, but I share things on Instagram because, I don't know, some people happen to follow me on Instagram. guys saying swap io yeet how you doing computer robots what up i want Tom. yep that's what we need that's what we need to get announced tom and jerry and smash that's that's what we need that's what uh that's what everybody wants right that's that's it that's that's the one everybody asks for Every, everybody knows this to be true um, let me message Andres that I'm ready to call when he is. Raycal Master F Zero Switch, baby. Could happen. Also, I'm pretty sure I mispronounced your name, but it's it's whatever. If they don't put you in Smash, you're gonna be mad. No, they need to put me in Smash, not you. You don't get to be in Smash, I get to be in Smash. How dare you? You think you're Smash material? No, I'm the one and only. Webby, yo, what up? You're back from one and a half years. I feel like you've been to the stream within that time. Let me actually turn the call here. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. I couldn't hear the call for some reason. It wasn't ringing on my end. Oh, that's yeah. weird. Yeah, I don't know. Discord's dumb, know. man. That sucks. Mm. But I'm already live. Jennifer Ryan, hello here. there. What? I have a whole bunch of things open here. Who's my doggo? His name is Doggo. His name is Houston. <laughs> He's very loud. 
and he always offers problems, but mm-hmm. he's adored. Darcy, what are you saying here? The wreck starts literally the time I start work, so I can't watch till lunch break. Oh my god. Yo, cycle we have it a up. long lunch break. Well, you can maybe skip through the things you're not interested in, probably get it all. Cycle on my what? stream says to tell you hi, Andres. I say hello right back. Maybe I'm assuming he can hear me. Nerdy Cabana! Ah! Nerdy, how's it going? And then, and then we, of course, we got people. The the people in my chat know who needs to be in Smash. They got Tom and Jerry. We got Shaggy. We got myself. These are the people who need to get in. They yes. know. They know. Right. That that. That's exactly. Okay. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah. And of course, Steve. You're, you're onto something. <laughs> that that is what's going on here. So we're gonna <laughs> Colonel you know, Sanders. do a little bit of a pre-show, very briefly. Yeah. Um, just kind of getting set up here. Um, yeah, this will be the first uh, direct without Etika. I know a lot of people like really liked watching Etika's direct streams i never did um but i understand like that was a big uh, thing of, i have seen um etika's <laughs> reactions before something with that i mean i used to follow the guy so i mean yeah. i i get it it's it's a different time we gotta move on mm-hmm. um it's unfortunate what happened but here we are with the nintendo direct upon us it's gonna be 44 it's gonna be 40 minutes uh, probably you know, we, 44 we know. minutes it's right there 44 minutes, ah, <laughs> must, must be my psychic powers telling me the future. Yes, yes. Um, but it's <laughs> All my comments right now are, are bad smash takes. <laughs> bad smash takes? Yeah. Everyone's... Sans and Waluigi forever? Yep, pretty much. And then, then we got people, of course, requesting Mario. Why is Mario like not in smash? Mario. Can't believe. I think, I, I would think. really like to see Mario. Yeah. Mario would be nice to see. Mario, maybe green Mario in as an alt, um, or or echo. Okay. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. Computer robots added me. He also wants Tom and Jerry in Smash. Oh no, I want. Yeah, I yeah. don't want Tom and Jerry in Smash. I, I'm good. No, that's uh, that's I, my that's my I wish. I do not need Tom and Jerry yeah. in Smash. And, Andre's I, not I, as I'm big fine. on that on Tom and Jerry as I am. You know, if my brother would be. He used to lot watch a lot of Tom and Jerry, and I would, <laughs> I would kind of get sick of it. Oof. That that's yeah. I'm I'm not anti Tom and Jerry. I'm just not a big proponent of it either. You're just a hater. Astral is off the chain. Has his popcorn ready to go? I love that username. It's so good. <laughs> Billy the Turtle is hoping for a new Waluigi game. So, I think the path to Waluigi stardom in Super Smash Brothers as an actual challenger someday is by him actually getting some sort of significant role in an actual game as yeah. opposed to just a side character of many in a spin-off sports series. So, yeah, Waluigi needs to do something. Maybe he opens up a, another hotel, <laughs> right? Or maybe oh maybe today we'll see that Waluigi is behind all of the 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 muck in 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 Luigi's Mansion 3 and he's the there one who's running go. the hotel, right? That Bowser's not Big King Boo, it's it's Waluigi. It's he's Waluigi. the real bad guy. That would be kind of funny. That'd be crazy stuff. It would be pretty insane. Oh, I, so, I, I got another good Smash question. Would Tom and Jerry be the same fighter or would they take up the last two spots? I think it would be an Ice Climber situation. Um, You, you kind of have the, the attacks, it's very special. Um, it, it's kind of you're 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 leading Tom in such a way that or you're leading Jerry in such a way that Tom actually attacks other people as he misses Jerry. Um, that's that's how that works. So, yeah. To clarify, mm. that that was an important point to make, by the way. Okay. Um. Mm. So. What well, one thing that I'll say to that? You're wrong. <laughs> what? How, Actually, how, how could do you I feel be wrong? about the, the the idea that Terry, assuming he's he's in Smash Brothers, is actually 
it's more than just Terry. It's it's like a tag team sort of thing because apparently mm -hmm. SNK they they they're sort of the they've pioneered that mechanic of the tag team mechanic in fighting oh. games, and it's not just Terry. It's like a couple other people, maybe like Mai and a couple other like you know like kind Speak. of Pokemon trainer, but yeah, fighting. That'd be cool. I'd take it. It'd be awesome. Every time we're over here, I realize I go off camera. I, have I to, like. I wonder if they would even like. That. Oh, something that might be cool is if they all have like separate damage meters, but they all take damage like way faster than other characters. Okay. So when you switch in a character, it starts at zero, but they take a lot more damage than most other fighters, so it mm -hmm. racks up quicker. I think that could be cool, depending on how they balance it. All right. Well, apparently Alexander Barroso still feels strongly about you being a Smash DLC character. That's because that's what's going to happen. It's, it's going to be announced today. I know because Maybe. I already signed all the brand deals. Yep. My, you, three things that you're for sure, for sure you're going to see. Okay. Three, three things. <laughs> Pokemon Sword and Shield, Luigi's Mansion 3, and Link's Awakening. I just went for everything that was obvious. There we go. Okay. Uh, things that are not guaranteed. That are not guaranteed. Um, I don't know if I'm confident enough in anything to say three things that I'm for sure think are going to be there. Uh, well, let me fix your volume. On my end, oh, I, I, I lowered you not because it's you, just because um, the audio, because you, you you're on the same audio channel as what the direct's gonna be. Right. Yeah. Hopefully Actually, guys, in my comment section, let me know how the audio is for Andres, if you can hear him well enough. Right yeah, now. I'm gonna have to do like in the last like two minutes, I'm gonna have to adjust all the audio. Yeah. So it's more for hearing the direct and not you. Um, yeah, I'll probably lower you down to like 50. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm gonna put you like on probably like on 50% on Discord and the direct, I'm gonna put like at minus 35 decibels just because, like, oh, wow. one, okay. I don't want um, like an Ubisoft game to play and then the mm -hmm. entire stream to be copyright striked. And then, uh, good point. Oh, you know for sure, there's no way we're gonna get out of Pokemon Company striking us. Like, it's just gonna happen. <laughs> now that oh, that's what I was I was thinking about this earlier. I'm like, now that Sword and Shield's gonna be in this direct, there's no way we're getting out of it. This stream's so getting copyright striked, or not striked, but you know, claimed. Maybe. It happens Maybe. every I, time. I, I don't know. Uh, every time. It doesn't matter if you have it like in a smaller box. It doesn't matter if you're talking over the audio. They they still get you, unless you have like a watermark over the actual footage of Pokemon. They always get me. I don't know. Pokemon Company, they they crazy. They out to get everybody. Yeah, as to your point, um, we will we'll, we'll see what happens as we as we stream, right? But just kind of looking through my chat here, I see a. Darcy saying that Mai is too sexy for Smash. Well, maybe that's why she should be in Smash. She she would open up things. I mean, we got Bayonetta, uh, so like, I don't I would I don't know if that's necessarily the case. And they could always do like uh, maybe give her like stockings or something. Like they can they can, you know. Who? Mai is a character from uh, Fatal Fury, another SNK oh, okay. character. She's a very um, attractive woman who can fight mm. she's like she's she can fight and throw stuff and she's very the way she's dressed is provocative so okay. yeah uh but she from what i know that's of her so she's true. pretty cool it's, nice. it's just kind of like people would make the argument that maybe that's not the kind of character you'd expect to see in super smash brothers yeah but I... again we have bayonetta <laughs> yeah right? when, when she got bayonetta it's kind of like huh, but, anything goes so, but at least with Bayonetta, there isn't like a whole bunch of like crazy weird bounce physics, right? Or jiggle right. physics, right? It's just she's wearing latex and that's what she is. Mm -hmm. So it's a little different, but we'll see. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what's gonna happen, right? We may yeah. not see Mai at all, so we won't even get that that question answered. 
but I, I think uh, Te Terry is for sure going to happen. I'm sorry, Devaluki. I, I think Terry's for sure going to happen, but there is that theory that it might be like a tag team strike sort of thing, so maybe it's more than one character. If that happens, it'd be pretty cool, but I'm not going to expect that. I'm expecting Terry. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll be surprised. Yeah. Maybe that won't be the case at all, but probably Terry, I think. I, I don't know. I think the tag team could happen just because Sakurai wants to make all the uh, Fighters Pass characters like very unique. And from what I've heard about you explaining Terry, he'd be very similar to like Ken and Ryu. So I don't know that he would be that unique. Like Hero and Joker and like Banjo are going to be like way different than everybody else. Um, and Piranha Plant too. And Terry seems like the one that would be the most like basic. So maybe the tag team would be how they shake it up. I've seen I've seen Terry uh, at this point a, a fair bit, and from what I've seen, I feel like he would feel pretty different. To be honest with you, um, like he has a lot of really cool moves, man. Uh, so I don't know. Well, we're just we're gonna find out today. We're gonna find out yeah. very shortly. Darcy's uh, suggesting maybe Metro Prime Trilogy HD for December. Maybe. Good afternoon. Maybe not. I'm not going to expect it. You guys know right, we want it, right. but I'm just, I'm done predicting Metro Prime Trilogy because every for time real. I'm wrong. But I will always bring it up because I will always be hopeful. So maybe now is the time. Probably not. Maybe but so. There was a leak that was spoken of today by a uh, big Pokemon channel, and it's complete nonsense but for those who saw it it talked about um how there would be like lapras as a gigantamax pokemon which could still happen by the way um because there was another leak that was verified that Lapras will get a gigantamax form but it said there would be ice flying it said impotent would evolve into a pure dark type it it, it, it talked about a few things along the line it said metro prime trilogy for spring 2020 pikmin 3 deluxe in january town in december now, the problem with this this league is that mm -hmm. it didn't bring up Smash Brothers at all. It didn't bring up Overwatch, so I just think it's for sure fake. But it, it did apparently say that Luigi's Mansion and Pokemon will be the two big games for the Direct, the focus, mm -hmm. before the announcement. But I feel like if you think about it, we're in September. Those are the only two big games. Well, there's Link's out. Awakening, but I don't think Link's right. Awakening needs to really... Like, Link's Awakening definitely is, like, the third one in that list of three. Yeah. Right? So I don't I don't think it's that crazy of a prediction to make to make your leak seem like a legitimate leak. Yeah. So I could and, I there's a small part of me that thinks that Smash character might not get announced today. Um is I, I think there's a possibility that Shifty I think when we were in the one of the podcasts he brought up that they could have a separate Smash um like presentation because it is a bit early to announce the next character in my opinion but it, it's not you know obviously they could do it it's just there's a there's just there is a chance that there's no smash announcement i, I i'd say is there a chance 10 to 15 percent like it is a pretty decent no. sized chance sakurai is, is retweeting the direct no they like all of, like when you say chance like one percent in my opinion like it's like it's the the one percent where like anything is possible sort of thing, but I think this I is pretty it's much. That low. Oh, I think so. I mean, if it happens, it, it, it's 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 gonna happen, man. Um, it's gonna happen. Uh, even it, even if it's just a mention of banjo, like something it's something Smash related right. could happen in this forty minute direct. Oh There's yeah, I didn't say that. I meant I said the next character specifically. Well, the next here's the other thing. Announced. Here's the other thing about that though right um That's if different. you've been paying attention to like the leaks right it seems that the leaks for each character become certain like right before they happen right and the leaks for terry have become certain the leaks for banjo became certain right before those gonna happen for mm. hero uh for joker so actually no joker was not joker is the exception. joker had nothing so, yes um nobody predicted that guy i i think uh it, it, I, I think it's pretty much for sure happening yeah. today. Like, just think about it. Like, if they don't have a reveal in a direct, if you think they'll have a, a dedicated Smash direct, maybe they could do that, but that would be completely against the pattern. And the pattern is 
like they've been doing presentations for each character and having the reveals at really big events. So I, I just, there's for sh- I'm, I, I really do think it's like one percent that it won't happen. Like if there's like it's I'm well above ninety here that, it, that there is going to be a Smash character reveal. None. We can disagree though. I, it doesn't matter because yeah. I know you still think it's probably gonna happen. Yeah, right? it, it's so, still like, almost certainly gonna happen. I just think there's a yeah a bit more of a chance that it might not. But there's I mean, no like, there's not even no way to quantifiably prove yeah, that that really is isn't. a thing. There is, because yeah. uh, even if you're 80, 20, and I'm 99, one, like, we both think it's gonna happen. It doesn't matter, yeah. really. If it happens, there's no way to say like, oh, there was an, it was a 99. Per- no. No, there's no, there's no, no. Th- exactly, there's no way to quantify. People it. in my exactly. chat also are like, you're no, you're wrong. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wrong because I'm predicting it's gonna happen, but. You know, right, but yeah, I mean, you always have to be open to the possibility that something unexpected happens. Right. So, you know, that's what no, nothing is absolute until it's confirmed, and even then, sometimes bad things can happen. But that's why it's just kind of why you should always take everything with a grain of salt. Mm-hmm. But there, there, there will be a Smash character reveal. So there's, there's almost certainly really yeah. about here. Yeah. I'm not really concerned. It's just kind of like, oh, I could also see a possibility. Like, I could see it not happening. I agree that they could pull off a Smash Direct. Nice cycle. That sounds fun. The final two characters and talking about Banjo with a couple new modes. They could yeah. do that, but they're not going to do I that. I don't that think they will. That has what they've been doing. Yeah. I yeah. think the final character will get announced at the Game Awards. Mm-hmm. Unless they have another Direct, but I don't think that will happen. Yeah, Nerdy Cabana says, never understood why the thought of Ken and Terry being Echo Fighters. Why? Because they're blonde? Their fighting style is just totally different. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, plus the Fighters Pass character is not going to be an Echo anyways, so... No. Uh, they are similar in terms of they, like, have fiery movesets. Uh, they're both, and they both are, they're both blonde, but, uh, you know... Uh, I do agree, Fatal Fury and Street Fighter are very similar in terms of how they look, but they're, it's going to be different. I'm not worried about this character today getting revealed and it being a, a carbon copy of Ken. In fact, I actually am expecting that I'm going to prefer to play as Terry as opposed to the Street Fighter characters, because I, I honestly don't like the way the Street Fighter characters yeah, play. Yeah, I, I don't Smash like Brothers. playing as them. Yeah. So apparently, um, Perkle two hundred uh, thinks Link Link's Awakening won't sell well. What? I hope it does sell well. I think it will sell well. Most games on Switch do sell well, especially when they're Nintendo games. Yeah. So I'm not that doubtful, but I also don't game. think it's going to be a Breath of the Wild either. Oh right? yeah. It's definitely not going to be that successful. That's for sure. So it kind of depends what your expectations are, but I think it's going to at least sell a million. Maybe a couple million. I think it's gonna sell a couple million. I'm cur- actually mm-hmm. I'm curious how much the 3DS games sell. Uh, let's see, like, um, uh, between world sales. Okay. Alexander Baruso, he's 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 he wants to say something. He's like, Andres, hear me out. The Mega Man Zero series for the GBA is the best, the best Mega Man series of all time, all time. You guys should definitely check it out. Trust me. I'll keep that in mind. I've, I've never really cared about Mega Man, but yeah, maybe I'll try it out. Yeah, Bone, Bonehead is saying that I think it's because they're both fighting game characters. I think it's just in terms of the whole conversation of Terry and Ken being too similar. Yeah. Link- I, I think you just got to wait and see, guys. When yeah. we see, it may, it may not even be Terry, right? There's a possibility it will not be Terry. Right, I all think that's it will be Terry. really for At sure is that it's an SNK character. Mm-hmm. It doesn't necessarily have to be Terry. Or just Terry. Yeah, uh, so Link Between Worlds sold 2.18 uh, million copies. So I think this game will probably sell 3 to 5 million. Link's Awakening. Wow. Yeah. 3 to 5 million, okay. I think it's a fair fair bet. Unless you, di- you disagree on that, I think, you know. I, I, I don't feel like I have enough knowledge base to really say i do think link's awakening will sell better than like between worlds all right that's all i can really say to that well that game yeah. sold over two million so i think three to five is a good fair estimate mm-hmm. 
Okay. Uh, oh, I, I think it's fine. Reasons and reasons in my comments said they hope they don't do a big Banjo Kazooie analysis because they could make a direct for only that and not cut heavily into the 40 minutes like they did with Hero. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do that just because they always have their own like presentations the day before. So I don't think they're going to have like a big Banjo blowout thing that like 10, 15 minutes. I mean, we talked about this yesterday in the podcast. We don't think that's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Cycling yeah. pre-ordered Link's Awakening. Dope. I don't pre-order games anymore. Do you ever pre-order games, Andres? I never feel the need anymore. Buy them at Walmart for ten dollars cheaper. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. saving. I'm saving a fair bit. Yeah. I'm saving one sixth. But Walmart's definitely where I'm gonna go once my Best Buy Gamers Club uh, expires. Because there's just no point in going anywhere else when you can get everything ten dollars off. We are really close to the beginning of this direct, oh, guys. Shit, we are yeah. real close. I'm going to turn I'm really off. I'm hoping that this is a fast paced, very hype worthy direct. I do not want to be yeah. slow paced. I'm a little concerned it will be. Like, I don't want a lot of nonsense titles. The way they handled E3 was perfect. I hope this is similar. I honestly don't know how it's going to be. But I need to now adjust the audio settings. Yeah, to make that's sure what I'm doing. Right. So first uh, filters, go down to minus 35. And guys, in the chat, I will pay attention to chat during the, the stream, but just please let me know how everything sounds. That yeah, way I can, same on my end. Adjust it early on, I will. So I would appreciate that, guys. I'm gonna start. Now, Brand, I'm gonna lower you a little bit. You still will be audible, just. Right, I lowered you down to 30. Actually, the one that directs played you probably won't be her all, so I'm gonna turn it to 50. Mm. That should be fine. I'm have to direct it like three fourths of the way up. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm just yeah. I, I raised them up a bit more. Okay, here we go. I am ready. I am ready. Let's go. I just two minutes. Just refreshing the time. page just so everything's you know, I mean, for, for me it sure. says live. Yeah, I know. On. Mine does too. I'm just making sure everything's good. Sometimes yeah, double like, check I'm at ten eighty P. Yeah. Seven twenty P no, no. Yeah, they do the same eight. thing for me. I was like, why is it seven twenty P? I have like <laughs> such good internet and it's just like nope, seven twenty P. It's like what? <laughs> Let me, sure, let me make sure I'm recording this. Yeah, okay, I am recording this good. If you can hear a clarinet, that's because I live with Squidward. I can't hear a clarinet. Okay, good. Is Andre's sound better now, guys? I turned him up a bit. Why does Nintendo UK get a countdown? We don't. Nintendo UK gets a countdown. We usually get a, countdown. get a countdown. We usually Damn get a countdown like Nintendo the last minute. America. We're in the last minute, though. What are so. you doing, Nintendo of America? Come on, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here we, we are so close. So close. Oh, it's happening. Okay. Here we go. RP to M. Okay. I mean, oh, that's, here it goes. That's a given, but, you know. A little loud for me. Yeah, I'm turning it down to half volume because it's freaking loud. Yeah, a little loud for me. What is this? Overwatch. There we go. There we go. Yep. Overwatch That's confirmed, Overwatch. my friends. Was there any doubt? No. <laughs> Absolutely no doubt. It looks good. It's kind of hard to tell because it's just on the handheld. But I mean. Oh, this. Alright, here we go. Some direct footage. Lower a little bit more. Actually, what I could do is just lower my actual computer volume so it doesn't bother me. Yeah. Yeah, let me know how the audio sounds, guys, for the direct. That way. Yeah, if for too sure. Loud or too quiet. Want it louder? Let me know in chat, please. Yeah, same with my chat, guys. Let me know how the audio is. Whoa, Brand, you're really quiet now. I think you lowered your own volume. I didn't.
October 15th. See, this is why I don't trust developers when they say they have no plans for their games on Switch, because they all lie. <laughs> right, I'm going to raise the volume a little bit. Hello, everyone. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Oh, not I'm Takashi. Takahashi. Oh, different Takahashi. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October right. 15th, so please look forward to it. All right, here we okay, go. Let's All right, so they start off with Overwatch. Of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please All right, take a look. Jump into Luigi's Mansion. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. You gotta see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Yeah, they're just showing new floors, just like I thought. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel, where every floor has a distinct. Did they update the graphics again? Other. Case in point, Probably. <laughs> it looks better than it did before. Wow, man. Dang. Ooh. Oh, this looks so cool. That's cool. Guess we should expect some mummies. Oh my God. This just looks. And booby Ooh, traps. the sand physics though. As for the other floors, oh. oh wow. There's the disco floor. Pirate themed restaurant. Oh, that's cool. A restaurant. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of boss to check out before you mode. Well, check out. Speaking of amenities, step right up to the screen park. Screen park. Oh man. Party mode. There's a Luigi team and a Gooey team. Okay. Only one Nintendo Switch system. Two to eight players. Super eight players on one system. Defeat the most ghosts. Oh. Collect the most oh, no. by piloting floaties with the Poltergeist G00. My stream stopped. Oh, yeah, it's like buffering for me with L. For you too? Yeah. Nintendo, what have you done? So this is a this is a, a Nintendo Don goofed. Yeah. Thing, right? I think I'm gonna do so. A refresh, but I'm gonna try. Come on, man. You're ruining my Luigi. I think something at Nintendo. What? They're already on Kirby already. Oh, what the fuck? In town. Nintendo, what did you do? <laughs> what? Okay. That's right. We heard they were hiring for a new Kirby. And get ready. Some mighty tough I, I went back a little bit. There are more than 100 quests. So, get a look at your enemy no. and make sure you have the right wow. jobs for the they job. They just they don't goof. Yeah, I'm going to just keep going live because it's going to be hard to sync up if you go back. You play alone. Yeah, I'm just going to okay, Kirby looks system. So, Team is this a um, wireless? It looks like a Kirby online. game. I swear every Kirby game looks Kirby like a Kirby, Kirby, game. Kirby game. For Nintendo Online. It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest. It looks awesome. When Super Kirby Clash launches later. Later today. Okay. Remember, it's free to start too. Nintendo free Online, to start. Right? Okay. That's cool. This long-awaited, recently released RPG is getting a remake. Sweet. After 25 years, fans of the so This is just. Right, I think we knew about this from E3. Game in the trilogy. Trials of Mana. So, yeah, that's a Nintendo Online Kirby game. Free to play, that's awesome. Mm. Well, they said free to start, I think. The ones free to start, okay. So it's not Nintendo Online exclusive? Stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to their I really like how this game looks. Yeah. This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger... So, so far, the Direct seems to be pretty fast-paced, actually. Yeah, so far. Like, Luigi's Mansion didn't really get that much of a focus. It was no. Minute. Yeah, that's what I said during the podcast, man. Yeah. So they really, whenever, that, whenever they say in the beginning of, of, of those things, oh, we're going to focus on these two games, that's just nonsense. Yeah, I told you, man. That's what I was trying to say, man. Every time, yeah. they're like, we're focused on this, and it's like the smallest thing ever. God, it's buffering again Yo, for me. Did oh. it happen again for you? Yes. Wow, Nintendo Don goofed. Yeah, what the hell? This has never happened Nintendo before. Nintendo Don goofed. I just it, I refreshed and it, it was instantly fixed. So if it happens, just refresh as quickly as possible. Ooh, what's this? That's so dumb. Is this an indie game? I don't want this to keep happening. Right. It's an interesting art style. For the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. It's actually a really cool art style. Of the it's very interesting. Pocket watch to turn back time and Ooh, time. Each soul's last moment. I'll pay two dollars for it. It's exactly what I give you. Explore the ship. Oh. Observe the situation. Okay, it looks like Abraham Lincoln. 
Yeah, computer realized I don't think it's my Wi-Fi because it's happening to Brandon at the exact same time. Yeah, it's happening to us both at the exact same time. We live in different parts of the country. Yeah. We're on completely different servers. Also, I have, I have a... Like we both have ridiculously good internet. Yeah, with the Ethernet connection. Yeah. That's cool. I'm gonna check that out depending on how it's priced. If it's like five bucks, I might pick that up. Ah, oh, yeah. town! Here we go. Town hero. Yeah. Never leave town. That is the this game looks so clean. One day. There suddenly appeared a giant monster. To defend the townspeople, one boy named Axe will stand up to face it. And the only they changed the UI since last time. Ideas. A lot. To win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Okay. Interesting. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Wow. Weird. Little That's town interesting. That's very interesting. I mean, it's great. He's... <gasps> what? And preload the game later what? Y'all thought it was myself included. We all thought it was me delayed, man. What the no. heck? <laughs> oh, here we go. Banjo time. time, man. <laughs> Confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3. Oh, they're actually gonna announce the release date. Release date confirmed. Yeah, there is a release date confirmed. What is it? Oh! What the fuck? Oh my god! Yo! Yo! Demonstration separately after the direct. Whoa! Direct, the heck? Now. Oh, this is a 60 minute the stream? This is insane. Oh my wow, god. Wow, that's unexpected. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here it is! Terry time! Oh my god. Assuming it's Terry. New character. Right? Terry, Terry time. What? Oh, they're, they're talking. They're explaining Nintendo history. Yep. They're explaining Nintendo history. Here we they go. really want to spell it out for us. What's happening? I'm so confused. Neo Geo. Oh, it's SNK it for sure. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it is. Yep. Oh. Let's go. SNK. Dude, they're spelling it out. We're cordially invited to Smash. Dude. Don't be late. That's Terry for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Wait, that, that, that. Is that not Terry? Oh, I don't know. They're all reaching for it. Oh, there's several of them. <laughs> oh. This is so cool. <laughs> this is so epic. Oh. Oh, wow. The teases, because everyone was on her. Uh huh. Oh my god, ah! they're teasing all these super <laughs> cool characters and there's none of them are getting it. What the heck? Oh. This is not the trailer of, you know, redoing um, Incineroar. No, no yeah, reason. I kind of thought that was... Well, they might still, though. Oh! Terry! Looks awesome. Fatal Fury, man. Now, now in development. development. Damn. Confirmed. There he is. Mm. Fatal Fury. No All game for Banjo. That was really cool. That was super awesome. November 2019. I think okay. that was really cool. That was, Terry that was the, awesome. Is the, is the poster boy for Fatal Fury. So, Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury. He looks good, man. Battle. I like his that design. He revealed four of the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass. One remains. Really Ryu Hayabusa. <laughs> Special <laughs> announcement. Wait, 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 wait. You're not gonna announce both of them. Oh! More DLC fighters! No! 
Yo! 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 Other new fighters are in development. The battle isn't over yet. Yes! Yes, dude. Let's go! Let's go! I am rubbing myself with water. Oh God! Fighters at the end of that segment. We'll have more to share with you in the future. Yes! Let's go! With some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Okay. Yes! Yes! Ah, Link's Awakening. I'm so happy, dude. Link's Awakening, which means the next big adventure. Sure, I'll turn the direct volume up a little. Fast approaching. You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders. This game's gonna be good. Series of puzzling tasks. Oof. And encounter some oddly familiar faces. Kirby. Whatever happens, help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all-new Chamber Dungeon, oh you can my place God. chambers earned on your adventure to arrange uh, your yes. own dungeons. I lo I, when there is in like one remain, those like, nah. Yeah. Nah, nah so they're not gonna announce the last one. <laughs> Amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend yes! of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. Oh, nice. The Legend of Zelda. I don't understand why they don't just have it online. <coughs> yeah. I'm good. <coughs> my voice. <coughs> I gotta <coughs> save my voice. There's gonna be more screaming, I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh. <coughs> they haven't said anything about a banjo related game, though. That's my only thing. I'm just kind of like, hmm. Hmm. It doesn't even have to happen now. Sprawling adventure story True. That allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon This is one of those games where I want to play, but I'm never going to find the time to play this game. New character focused stories. The day the game launches, free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack, including consumable items. I'm just happy. I'm just so happy right yeah, now. Yeah, man. I'm just so happy. An RPG they didn't say anything. Me. They just said more DLC. Yeah. They show what? There's like more deals. Oh yeah. Like Don't S. worry. <laughs> oh yeah. Definitive edition. Nintendo Switch September 27th. I pop player. Until and for the record, guys, I'm I'm into this game. I'm into Link's Awakening. I'm just that Smash and now. Yeah. I mean, they're not showing us anything about these games that we don't already know about. So. <clears throat> my voice is my voice is gone. <laughs> Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? Oh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions? Is this still going with my Oh, okay. This game needed it. It, like, died on the Wii U. I, I was never really into it. I think it was the art style that threw me off. Yeah. I heard it's, like, really good, though. I'd play it for a really cheap price. Yeah. It won't be cheap. You'll face off it's against just... this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. The drugs have been great so far, by the way. Fire Everything's been yeah. fast-paced. I don't have any complaints. Tons yeah. of games that are all, I'm at least all remotely interested in, too. Blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore releases That on name makes so much sense. You can pre-purchase the game later to The Encore part. That's really clever actually. Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. This this Boston 2019. Never heard of this game. It all begins again. FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case. She also opens a door to the unknown. This is creepy. Door that also takes us back to New Orleans, 14 years ago. This music is so off-putting. story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take <clears throat> Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? A blessing in disguise boggles and beguiles on the okay. Seems and now Seems okay. for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch on Nintendo oh. eShop as Deadly Premonition Origins oh. later that. today. Well, the shadow drops That's today. two shot yeah, three sh three yeah. shadow drops. Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is okay. finally coming. You know what this Nintendo is? Switch. Check no. it out. I don't. I don't. The graphics look good. 
Let's is it see. like Diablo? I don't Maybe? know what it's on. Sort of like Diablo, maybe? Hmm. It looks okay. There's still plenty of direct time left, by the way, guys. We're not even oh, halfway yeah. through. Yeah, no. So, um, Peter Robot, if you're hoping for a DLC for Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, it's still, you know, there's still half a direct left. Yeah. We're, what, uh, 15 minutes or less than 15 minutes into the direct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Robert, really it's been pretty great so far. Minutes in. And now for a, a message, message from Bethesda. Yep. Is this Doom Eternal? Hey, Nintendo fans. Pete Hines from Bethesda. You aren't going to delay Doom Eternal, right? It's software. I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch a delay. this year. I'm sure many of you have fond <laughs> memories of spending okay. countless hours okay. playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well... This year is Doom 64? Anniversary of Doom, one of the most Doom 64, that's what it is. I know for it's that's what it is. Calling it right now. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. Yep. For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. We live that's pretty awesome, actually. In more than it looks nice. Action levels. Yeah. Or if you're a newcomer, it looks like Doom 64, but in HD. Looks like the PC version. Popular shooter franchises in so clean. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Okay. Nice. We're getting that holiday filled in, for sure. I like. That's I want it. that's very close to the release of Doom Eternal, though, which is odd. What is this? That looks like PewDiePie. Brand new. It does look like PewDiePie. <laughs> it's a brand new IP. But its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the. So this is a new IP that's exclusive to Switch, then. With a similarly skilled team online and a variety of Okay. You wield guns, gadgets, or this reminds me of that game on the Wii U that was like free to play multiplayer, but like actually good. Weapons, skins, in -game events, that game was apparently was trash. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch, I'm in, in I need more to impress me. It's just not one. Yeah, that I didn't. How's it going? I'm, my voice. The new titles in the core Pokemon my voice. RPG series. Pokemon oh, okay. Sword and Pokemon <clears throat> All right, Sword and Shield time. We have more information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon adventure. Starter Please evolutions and a new mode. Here we go. Yeah. Pokemon Sword oh, so and Pokemon Baracta. Shield take place in the Galar yeah, region. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, yeah. Says. Where people and it's Pokemon beautiful. work together toward a prosperous Weepy. future. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people the for your adventure. Today, we'll cover four features you can Four features? To. Four okay. new features? First, customizing your look. Okay. Ah, okay. Once again, the latest I, I heard entry this, in the series this is a good thing. That's a cool looking... Oh, wow. Feature. That's a cool you shirt. This yeah. Oh. Not just this is a lot of customization. But a wide variety. Okay. Including outer it's nice. And gloves. That's a lot of customization. Yeah. Plus, you can change your hairstyle. Or put on a little makeup. <laughs> it's not There's for the dudes. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part too. That's there's think? way more more customization Second, than ever before. Pokemon camp. Okay, we kind of knew about. During yeah. Your journey through the Gala region. You can camp anytime at Pokemon camp. Is that a shiny um all creamy? While you're green. There, you can I'm play with your Pokemon. Yeah, and I like how this casually show that off. They'll also improve in battle. <laughs> Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps. Oh too. man! Oh, so funny running up. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. This is I, I definitely this is good to me. I'm kind of excited about Pokemon. this. Third, curry, curry on rice. rice. What? Pokemon camp is also a great place oh, to cook up a dish. Look, I realize this may not seem like a big deal to you. 
but between Pokemon Camp and Cookie and Food, it makes it really adds to the whole like breath of the wild treating and taking care of your Pokemon, like really treating them like kind of like your pets, like raising them up. Like I actually really dig this. Yeah. There are more than 100 types. That's a lot. So there's a lot of customization. A lot this of is why they, in the wild area, Damn. you can like gather. Oh. What the hell is that? that Pokemon doing? Yeah, what is that? And fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the galaxy. guys. First, that's actually pretty cool. Normally, it makes a whole guys by hiding amongst tableware, hotels, and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. That's kind of disturbing. Also has a special ability called weak armor. Next, Cramorant. It's Pokemon called Cramorant. So cool. This flying and water type Pokemon has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can find in its mouth. I think designs for all these Pokemon are really, really good. When it uses surf or dive during This one's battle, okay. I like a uh, bro surf looks great. Awesome. Along with the catch in its mouth. What? If There's it a fish stuck in there. State, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive Go new ability. Wow. Go wow. That's actually pretty cool. It's like a counter. And that's all we have to share with you today. Okay. Pokemon it looks sharp. Pokemon still yeah. Really this is kind of what I thought it would be. Just kind of like an update that you would typically get, but in the direct. It was a little bit more fleshed well, out. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit more. There are still two more months yeah. until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Galar region. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch online okay. Super Nintendo games. Okay. With Super Nintendo. Nintendo. Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. The smartphone app is not and a now, fun feature. We're Please don't say it's more money. Super Nintendo! Please don't say it's more money. <laughs> if you say it's more money, I'm going to be upset. With this, you can oh, play a variety of we'll classic out Super soon. NES games on Nintendo Switch. That's at least three, four, five. Okay. Six. There are some you may not expect. Oh! Seven. Okay. Seven. Which will be available to play on another system for the first wow. time. What? You can face off or team up in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend. Eight. Or even play together online. Nine. Oh, and the rewind function will be available from launch. Nice. Okay. So a whole bunch of... Here are the first games we plan to release. That's a lot. Starbox. That's a lot. Oh, wow. That's almost 20. All 20 oh, of the games it is, it is 20. <laughs> tomorrow. And of course, we will eventually add okay. more to the lineup. September 5th, this okay. offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch online members. So please enjoy them at no Oh! Oh god, thank you. You noticed this, did you? Jeez. No additional Everybody over here like it's going to be $10 more and I'm like, bruh. No. Super no. Entertainment system, Nintendo Switch online exclusive controller as a special nice. offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch nice. Pro controller. This All Super NES style dollars. controller <laughs> will be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo Switch online okay. members. Visit the Nintendo website for the latest information on its release. Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Well. Let's move on to some more Nintendo okay. Switch headlines. Okay, that was great. Okay. That was perfect. That was 20, nice. we didn't expect 20, and for no additional cost. Oh, new update nice to five. Tetris 99. This, another update Nintendo to Tetris 99. The best free to play game. game Tetris 99 is getting a the best battle royale. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris I, I can play this. Status. Oh, wow. I cannot play this. <laughs> well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some oh, added challenges. Nice. Oh, clearing these missions, they're really, they're really great the bar and exchange them for a variety of custom games. Oh, nice. Ooh. Themes. I want all these themes. That's actually really awesome. They're really adding to this, guys. Damn, they're really fleshing this game out. The second wave of paid DLC is here as well. Paid DLC? I didn't even know there was first wave of paid DLC. <laughs> Get together with friends to oh. battle via local, local multiplayer. That's cool. And local arena mode. 
the version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. It's pretty good. Yeah, Robert, the direct's been awesome so far. DLC wow. Nintendo Switch Online 12 month individual. They're pushing, they're pushing the online. September 6. Yeah. But no that, Mario and okay, Sonic wow. are ready to kick it old So repackaged in Tetris 99 with more Mario content and, and at the, the great Games Super Nintendo online package. Of its own. This time That's how they're going to maintain subscribers. Including the 100 meter, karate, football, and more DLC for Smash Brothers technically. Rugby sevens, right. sport climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. Check out these 10 retro style events. Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top of that, there are new mini games. It's actually pretty cool. Unlockable characters and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Huh. You know, if I had friends, I'd Olympic probably pick that up. It looks pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, if I had friends. <laughs> <laughs> if only. If, if only I had friends. Another demo. Yep, I knew they were gonna have a new demo because that's that's what we have to have. The free demo version, Damon X Machina Prologue demo, will be available for download later today. Like, there's no way them just showing gameplay would ever convince people that it's good. Like, they had to have a demo. I predicted this in my video. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, it does look nicer though. Yeah. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players. Oh, that's cool. And we're oh. happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. Okay, but so, no online. Your the full game okay. Okay, so you need cool. to get the game to get online play. The full that makes game sense. Also support yeah. Online that makes sense. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. Alright, well, I'm going to play the demo. Armor. And yeah. the demo's good. Yeah. I'm going to get the game. Yeah, I mean, the presentation looks really cool. It's the gameplay itself that I was like, eh. Right. So, so if it plays yeah, better, it's then... The free demo, though. Yeah. What? So oh. It's back for more. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know what this is. Kyle Katarn, agent of Jedi... The Republic, what? Is this is actually crazy. <laughs> Get your lightsaber at the ready. When does this come out? Oh, this is so old. This is like early 2000 PC game. But it's like a classic, like everybody loves that game. Oh, 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 not to say that the game isn't blurry, like, it's definitely got that Wolfenstein blur, but oh. Like, this looks so oh, okay. More Assassin's Creed, okay. Nice. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free to play action RPG. It's free to play. Dauntless. Dauntless, yeah. Dauntless has looks really cool. Like Dauntless is something I really want to try. Okay. Dauntless, I think, is something that we could try playing online together. Andres, I think we'd have good good time. It's kind of like free to play Monster Hunter, I guess, but open world, like MMOs, I guess, a little bit. From what I've seen. Where are we at? Where are we at? Alright, we got about 10 minutes left. They got some. This is gonna be something huge at the end. This so, is the big game, just dance. There we go. Do you think it's gonna be one or two big games at the end? Uh, I wanna say one, I guess. You're saying one? It's so yeah. loud, I can barely hear you. Yeah, one. Oh god, it did get like way louder. <laughs> Farming simulator. This is my thing. This is it. This is the game of the year, right? Yep. Nino Kuni. Isn't yeah. that like a big deal? Well, yeah. I probably really want that. Of course, NBA. Always looking good on the Switch. They've already announced some 2020 games shown to the Furukawa. Yeah. 
And there will be a little bit of discussion once we're done with the entire presentation of everything, guys. Um, a little, yeah. maybe like 10, 15 minutes. I'll put up my reactions, and then I will go to one. Don't make right too. Oh, cool. We got the first one, so now we're getting the second one. That makes sense. Vampire. Or a vampire. Okay. Good. How's everything going? Next up, Animal he's just, Crossing. He just said next up. Animal Crossing. We revealed many details about the game back in June. Yeah. Video covering what Here we go. Next. Let's see. Shall oh, we? only stuff that they already asked or what? Hello there, Mr. Tom Nook. Nintendo Direct viewers. I'm yes. a viewer. Oh, yes, I've heard about it. I've heard right. extensively. Ooh, a promotional video. Please do show us Thank more. Thank you, Tom Nook. Welcome to Island Life. Ooh. Oh, it's Thank so beautiful. Using the deserted island getaway package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the groove. Is it late training time? Life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to hmm. worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Oh, I was hoping right. it was Ken. Please select a spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook They give you a Nook phone! It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials. Great. Like branches. Okay, I got a branch. And yeah, stones. Then we'll Ooh. head to resident services and use the workbench. Nicely done. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. I'm waiting for them to show something that that's actually like new. I think this is the slowest part of the direct. Inside or outside. We know about this. Show me you something new. The they are killing our 40 so minutes with this. Expresses your style, and you can fully enjoy the deserted island. I life. wanted something a little quicker. Mm -hmm. Show me something new. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. Oh, we yes, yes, yes. We understand how shops items, work. Including any weeds you remove. This is what I did not want. Cleanup plan. In yeah. addition to the usual in-game currency, it's not that I'm not. It's not that I don't like what I see. It's just kind of like most of you knew about already, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling the same way, and I'm yeah, and bigger Animal Crossing fan than you, so. A host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Catch some bugs. Yes, this is just normal Animal Tame Crossing flowers. stuff. Pick them to make a garland. Yes, we understand how Animal Crossing works. Yeah. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have I want, just want this to end. A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. We understood that from the first trailer. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Okay, that's something we didn't know about. Plant it somewhere else. I, I like how up in that animated everything is. That I, pre I appreciate. The scenery changes with the But I want this weather. segment to be over already. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rain. We understand how weather works. And enough wind to I mean, it looks great. Trees. It does look great. But we knew that in the first the trailer. Day and the season, yes, Doggo has had enough of that whole crossing, Collie John. Absolutely. The puns. Oh. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously. 
up to four yes. players at a time on one system. We understand this as well. Okay, I like that there's one system to play with four players. I didn't know if that was already known. We did. Internet connection. You can travel to online players. 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 Online why not snap a photo with everyone? Oh, look, and another photo mode. Memory. Filters and things. Great. Please be done. Damn it. Show me something new at least if you're not going to be done. Like the last 10 minutes are all Show Animal Crossing. You've got to be freaking kidding me. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. <coughs> so many activities, animals to encounter. And yes, yes, I'm hyped for this game, but I wish you would show me something new. I no. can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted no. Island Getaway Package. They didn't say one That's more thing before this, though. So I'm hoping there's more, but it's been so long. That was like a seven-minute trailer. It was such a that long That was pretty trailer. long. So, how'd it look? It looked like still a bit more time until seen. the game launches. Yes, you don't say. So please stay tuned. All right. The next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a okay, look. Final okay, final one, guys. This is it. Aye, aye, aye. Mario Odyssey? Yes! No! Mario is stuck! Mario is stuck! It's Xenoblade! 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 Let's go. Xenoblade HD Remake? Hmm? Xenoblade HD Remake, bro. HD Remake, please? Xenoblade HD Remake. It's a Xenoblade HD Remake! Oh that's, my god, is we, it? We've never seen this Oh my god! Dude, oh my god! Dude, my dream! My it dream! Is... Do you wish to change it? <gasps> my dream! <gasps> my dream! Xenoblade HD! My dream! The future. Oh, my dream. This is so much better than just. It's an HD. Oh. The definitive edition. Oh. When does it come out? When does it come out? When Tell me when it comes out? out. When does it come Tell out? Me when it comes I out. need this. Come on, man. More than anything else in Oh, world. it looks so beautiful! It's like Xenoblade oh. S, but Xenoblade. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean I do have to be Oh about my it, god! Dude! My dream! My dream! Literally my dream game! Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012. On the Wii system is destined to be reborn. Oh my Nintendo god. Switch, Xenoblade <laughs> definitive. Oh my god. In 2020. Please look oh my god. To more that was good. In the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my god. So that Animal Crossing segment was like. Yeah, not good. But. We got confirmation for more DLC for Smash Brothers and Xenoblade HD. And now this is. <laughs> oh! Oh my fucking god! Brothers Ultimate Game Challenge. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about. I need to get some cough drops. Today, my throat is like dead. You all how to use banjo and kazoo. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm still like dying. Since our hero showcase, but we're actually. Oh my god. You sure are busy, even if I say so myself. Now that today's Nintendo Was that a laugh track? <laughs> let me take just a little bit more of your time. You may remember in the Kiro showcase, I was playing by myself, Dude. using two controllers, Dude. like this. With Kiro, Dude. if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shields. So, in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. Today I have my controllers set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So, even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. This guy's a monster. This guy's insane. <laughs> best to control two fighters at once, kind of like Banjo and Kazooie, two characters acting as one. All right, let's get started. So, what is Banjo Kazooie? Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64 back in 1998. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game. It is weird how that happened. 
After that, Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. And then Banjo Tooie. Two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never came to Japan. And then there's Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which was released. Were they just announced the whole Banjo pack? They're all those games for the Switch. Are you shocked? Dude. That'd be hype. As some of you may know, the Banjo Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. But. Oh, but it's gonna but, come to Nintendo. But. Technically, they're a rival platform holder. Technically, they're Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie uh -huh. to join the Super Smash Brothers series. For that, I'm extremely Thank grateful. Thank you, Microsoft. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. So, if you want to play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. Uh huh. They're actually promoting the Xbox right now. Nintendo broadcast, but please give the game a try on Xbox. Now what the? F the music. <laughs> what That's the it. Hell? No, no announcement for Switch. Are you serious? If we were to include this music in Just hey, are you serious? go play it on the Xbox. <laughs> what? So we put a lot of I can't believe they just did that. I, uh, wow. Like oh my god. That's kind I of. I can't believe oof. that just happened. Yeah. Wow. Here. Yes. Here. You'll see they just said to go play it on Xbox. <laughs> they literally just said go Let's play a game on play. the X. Wow. Are you freaking serious? That's insane. That's actually insane. <laughs> Did it just straight up go so play it on Xbox, Kazooie, my friends? Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. There's Kazooie. We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. Right, just like here. I see a item collectible often behind that waterfall. This is like collectibles everywhere. That's pretty cool. For example, the talent trot here is used for their dash. And their jumps are based on abilities like flat flip and oh, feather flap. Okay. Their neutral attack is called claw swipe. This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we've built upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. Obviously. Their flurry attack is a rat a tat rat. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. This move is a pretty useful one. I'm still. Their down tilt is beat bar. I'm still shook that he just said play it on Xbox. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Build build. It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazui. Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazooie is, so this basically means bird bash, which is pretty accurate. Their neutral air is wing whack. Okay. Their back air is an air rat a tat rat. I don't. I think this is actually kind of similar to my own like um, video where I was trying to predict his move set like way long ago. It's 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 pretty easy for predicted though. Are based on yeah. attacks from their original game. To be based off his, his actual moves in the game it makes sense. Yeah. The down and up taunts were something that existed in the Banjo Kazooie series too. The up taunt is based on an animation from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts where Banjo sometimes stretches. Now I'd like to go over their special moves. First, their neutral special is egg firing. Makes sense. It's pretty much their go-to move. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here. And you can move Regal around. Blaster. That's awesome. Regal Blaster is based on this part in Banjo Tooie where the screen mimics an FPS. You can hold the button. The range is kind of limited. But as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually decrease, so you'll need to be careful. Okay. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield button. Next, their side special is Wonder Wing. As in their original game, it's an invincible charging attack. Invincible? Okay. It's fairly powerful and will basically win against any other attack. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. 
There are five of them in total, and I just used mm. up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until okay. oh, wow. it's a stock. Since right, so it's very limited. Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery option. And since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages. But it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. In addition, you can be grabbed during this move. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. Next is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. This move utilizes the Shock Spring tab from their huh. original game. That makes sense. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponent. Feel it, it's it's kind of like Sonic. Recover, Sonic's recovery. Too. Yeah. That's also, exactly what it's thought. pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward, in that you're still able to jump in midair after using it, oh. meaning you can jump twice in a row. Hmm. That's actually cool. So if you're falling, you can use it like this, jump, and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. Huh. Okay. By the way, the Every character in the fighter pass is like an amazing <laughs> recovery. <laughs> Note the slight difference in height. Next, for their down special, rear egg, they'll fire a grenade out of his backpack. It's a grenade egg. This is a slightly odd projectile, in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. <laughs> Positioning is important. Because grenade egg is football shaped, yeah. its bouncy trajectory can be unfair. You see the banjo trophy in the back? Yeah, I, I, I noted there was one under, under the waterfall as well. And you got that, like, bug that flies around during the rare, like, intro sequence of the game. You know, I've said this multiple times already, but I still can't believe you just told us to play Banjo on Xbox. Dude, <laughs> for <laughs> real. <laughs> I, I'm... What? That's the most weird thing I've ever heard. Will explode while you're still holding it. I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. God, the stage looks so good. We need a Banjo remake. Lastly, their final smash is the Mighty Ginginator. The Mighty Ginginator is what delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. This move will send your opponents flying. This stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the west it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. No. <laughs> a rotation icon will appear. Yeah, the rotation part's interesting. And the stage will spin. I noted this, this before. Unusual, even for the Super Smash Brothers series. It's truly unique. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also change. Okay. It's very interesting, actually. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gruntilda's lair is visible. It's kind of triggering me that he's not actually hitting Mario. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. This time, we're oh. taking on not just one. Look how small Banjo looks compared to Donkey Kong. For Donkey real. Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually two on my side too? So I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad if I just stand around, so I'll play carefully. 2v1 right now. I should probably keep them in check. Your eggs, which can be fired oh, forward or backward, are useful at times like this. He's just thanks to Kazooie, taking Banjo people and Kazooie out. can use moves with a relatively wide range of attack. We'll make good use of these as we take them on. Note we're playing with items on. Nice. Dang. <laughs> I think we're doing. Even got a taunt in. 
I have two opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities to pick up items. And since the final smash meter is on, the opponent can use it twice. I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. I believe in you, Sakurai. You I got this, my dude. You can do it, Sakurai. If you take out Diddy, you Donkey Kong, you're in good shape. For real. Oops, I guess I should be explaining all their moves, huh? Auto fire, auto fire. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> oh, oh, their final smash meter is filled up. You can have that. Now. Oh, 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 oh. And Get him! Oh, wow. Oh, nice. It's like right freaking god at Smash right now. <laughs> now that there's one less opponent, this should be easier. Go, As Sakurai. if you had any trouble before. I do want to use a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. Not nope, you got it. Oh, Sakura over here like, yeah, this might be hard. Maybe, I don't know. I want to make sure he replay this, so you make sure he did that. I don't I know. Out, so I win. Is it game set? Banjo picks up a jiggy from the original game. Go <laughs> hook. Go hook. I like how you have people watching this time around, like in the scene. Alright. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. First, I'm really hoping he's like, hey, so I was kidding about putting it on Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. Though. Anyway, she's very cool, and you can hear all about her from her sister. Brentilda. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo 2. Never played Banjo 2, so I don't know what happens. Next is Mumbo Jumbo. Mm. This poor soul had all of his Mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. Just so many poor souls. Barely. Mm -hmm. He's like this poor soul and this poor soul. And we have Tootie. Can you She's down her? there. She's running at the bottom. She's tiny and you can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the details, even at her size. You could probably make an action game just using this. What? Did you hear what he said? Yeah. You're probably making an action just using this. Like, these. And he's literally stop teasing, teasing us, man. Playable banjo. Yeah. She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is. <laughs> Sakurai's just like, this person's miserable, and this person's poor soul, and this person's life sucks, and she's like, bro. <laughs> Why is Sakurai trolling me so much? I don't know. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say they're also sad souls. Why are there so many sad souls? So how many sad souls? What is he doing? I don't understand. We are sad souls. Yeah. They can float around. They're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. This is what they look like close up. It's basically a dragonfly, right? We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard to see areas. So I hope you enjoy it. So hard. For real. Next, let's talk music. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country style music and adapting it for use in. Battle. I can't believe this. We're including a total of ten music tracks. Okay, it's a pretty good amount. Of these, seven are entirely new arrangements. Hmm. I've always thought that getting all this for five ninety nine is a fantastic deal. So uh -huh. enjoy it. This guy's on drugs. <laughs> The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. I can't, I just, I'm just... He created the uh, I'm gonna raise your volume. Okay. I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. <laughs> And here's the list of tracks this time. 
Okay. The new tracks has been Some of them, a lot of them are new remixes. The action taking place mm -hmm. on screen. All right, now for the 5.0 update. What's that going to be? Alongside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, there will also be a software okay. update. We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So? And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. Okay. I'm pretty much. Play, so please take a look. What is it? Home run contest. And yep. here it is. I you need to damage the sandbag in front of you as much as possible. And with this bat, not with this. Dude, you saw you trolled bat. that bat taunt. Dude, for real. Uh, oh, in space this time. Maybe a little too high. And so, Home Run Contest makes its return. It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous Home Run Contest. So okay, I am gonna, I do. This time, Sandback has flown. I am happy kilometers. about this. I think that's about the distance mm -hmm. from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tomei Expressway. <laughs> People in Japan might understand how long place. that is. Let's My brain just go. tells me far. Attack, attack, keep attacking yeah. using both players. Time to strike. Here we go. No. This isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together, and not one person. That was him, Blitz. Yeah. I hope you play this with your friends. Sakura's like, I don't have friends. Download a Mii Fighter move customization. In shared content, many people have uploaded their customized Mii Fighters. Up until now, it may have been oh, a camera the on Lost Folks since you were not able to customize their special moves. But moving forward, you will be able to freely customize your special moves. If you find a Mii Fighter that you like the look of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want and play as them. However, this will not be applied to Mii Fighters created before this software update, and only applies to Mii Fighters created after the update. So I hope you re-upload your Mii Fighters. Okay. Okay. Please enjoy many different varieties of Mii Fighters. We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes as well. Please take a look. Okay. Who's it gonna be? Who's gonna get mm. the shaft today? <laughs> Steve, Steve. add a Mii costume. Let it be the case. Oh, I don't know. Oh! Mythical Ninja. I know, I, I, I know that game. I used to play that on the N64. Really? Yeah, that game is awesome. Played. That's interesting, man. It's actually super cool. Mega Man again. So these aren't rare, though. No. They're just me fighters. They also confirmed there will be no more modes, basically. Yeah. He said pretty much, oh, I love this OC. Pokemon! Pokemon! Team Ro oh, oh, that's actually cool pretty cool. Awesome, bro. That's really cool. That's really cool. Ah! What is no! this nonsense? No what? You gotta be wow. No way! Dude. What the hell? That's it actually is, super cool. And it looks like a normal me. I mean, like a normal character. Yeah, that's what actually super hell? cool. What the hell? just got confirmed for Smash. What the basically. fuck is this? And it comes with music too. It comes with music too. Damn. What the? F what? What? Well, uh, hmm. No way. This is insane. This is actually insane. From Undertale. It's actually insane. Zach, are you dog? And this Sans outfit also comes actually insane. Oh my god. What the fuck? Holy crap. Guys, Sans is in Smash Brothers! Oh god. Wow. 
actually visited my house and we played Super Smash Brothers Ultimate together. Toby, Toby has played Smash Brothers with Sakurai himself. Of all the guests, oh, this shit. Was probably the strongest. What'd you say? When we both chose random and played, the win ratio was about half and half. Or I may have been losing. <laughs> Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of amiibo that will soon be available. Guys, Sans is in Smash! This this wow. Wow. What just happened? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. And Snake. I wonder why he was hiding. They will each be available on September 20th. Guys, Sans is in Smash Brothers! That's what the, the software update. He's a meme! Oh my gosh! Will be available today. I'm just so shook. I'm so shook. This is huh. ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Part challenge back for Terry Bogart during the battle. Yeah. As mentioned in Nintendo Direct. Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. Well, it's shaping up nicely. But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? It was. It was pretty awesome. I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Dude! Like, he just... Oh, okay. the, the, the bombs! Oh? King of Fighters on that stage. That's cool. Finally. It was announced that we will be working on even more... Rex and Pyro! Whoa! They'll come out the same to time me, it as feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. Oh, Sakurai, I'm sorry, but we need it. You may wonder, how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Oh. But I'm also excited. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. At the same time, I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in Game World that it's become an enormous game. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. And so, I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. I appreciate your support. That's it for today. Thank you very much. I like the fact that even Nintendo is self-aware that people are like, Sakurai, take, take, take a goddamn break. Take a goddamn break indeed. Oh my god. So oh, that was that was a thing that happened. Uh, I just don't understand anything anymore. Nothing. It's all lies. like I actually got some thing predictions right, some wrong. Um, no Mario. No Mario. But I mean, that's that's one of those things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We definitely got ahead of ourselves on that one. Oh, so I lost my voice. Um. Um. That was a lot. That was. That was a lot. That's good. Yeah, I need like lot. I need to like look up a recap thing so we can like, cause I don't even. That was so much. <laughs> uh, I think the coolest thing for me was definitely Z My Chronicles Definitive Edition. Like that's fucking insane. Like I cannot believe yesterday I was like, you know what the thing I'd want the most? <laughs> freaking Cinema Chronicles HD remake. That's never gonna happen, and then it yeah, freaking it happened. Freaking, it's happening. <laughs> it's freaking happening. It's ha we I got more. Cannot believe it. It's okay. It's just like, all right. So Luigi's Mansion looks fine. Pokemon looks fine. Wiggly looks fine. I'm excited about all that. Mm -hmm. right? But. 
Xenoblade, like you said, definitive edition coming out next year. That's, that's something. That's so Super much Nintendo games. Twenty Super Nintendo games. Yeah, that's pretty good. Tomorrow for, for free no additional cost. Yes, great, okay. dude. I I cannot believe. Banjo dude. Kazooie is dropping today. Yeah, yeah. But oh yeah. But he told us to play Xbox. He did tell us to play Xbox. What the hell? I don't understand that. But I then, on understand. top of that, he repeatedly talked about, oh, just look at this whole game over here. It's like, you could, this, this could be its own action and adventure game. It's like, you What's he doing? such a but then, troll. But then, he says that there's only one more mode, and it's, it's the bat game. It's the homework okay, contest. That's fine. But, but then, he shows me costumes, and none of them are go at all with the whole... Not the, not None the of them are rare. Whoever said Minecraft content in Smash was just wrong. Yeah, okay. this is straight um, up wrong. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and this is also leaving me confused because Shifty had the source for Rio Hayabusa, and now that's it. One, it's not. It's not. No, obviously on Challenger Pack Four, but there was a leak suggesting there could be. There was like you know the whole Incineroar trailer. Ken right. None of that. That I was, I already kind of thought that that was not real. I mean, I mentioned it. I mean, we talked about the podcast, and I I was like, I didn't. Just because they did that trailer part wrong doesn't mean that Ryu can't be the fun. Um, No, no, no. no. I I meant the trailer specifically that they would follow. I like that. I didn't feel like that was gonna happen. People in my comments are actually like the they they think the uh, the direct was bad. I don't think he was bad. No. I thought it was really it good. Was bad. I don't know if it was amazing. The only bad part was the Animal Crossing being seven minutes long. Yeah, I don't understand. And they didn't show us now, anything new. Right, I wanted a Banjo game announced. That didn't happen. Super Mario mm-hmm. Odyssey 2 sequel has not been announced yet. That doesn't mean it's not in development. Okay? Um, like, the, you know, it's, it's, kind of, it's one of those things like just because it's announced for the watermelon tweet... We all thought that you and I both agree that Mario Odyssey 2 was, is, has been in development. It just not hasn't been revealed. Right. Right. They weren't going to reveal it this year. We never expected that. But just because the whole mm-hmm. tweet thing, we went crazy. But then, yeah. Well, to I be said, fair, I said 60% chance. So I wasn't, like, super on board. I just want to say that when I started talking about the watermelon tweet, that I'm very, I was on the hype train and that you shouldn't take it. You know, like, I, I knew I was on the hype train. Okay, I knew. Right, it. right. But, <coughs> dude, Xenoblade X. No, not like not even better. Xenoblade One HD dude, remade. So much better than Xenoblade Chronicles X port, dude. It's so much better. And I think Terry looks great, even though we saw very little. But then they showed more later, and I, mm-hmm. those moves are very different from Ryu or Chen. Um, yeah, and they look great. Banjo's great. I'm pissed at Sakura's like, hey, play Xbox. But then Sans. Mm-hmm. Sans is Smash Brothers. Yeah, that's freaking. That's like Toby. Toby Fox has been making the rounds. What, what, what was? Which one of the games was that he composed like almost all the music for? Which game was that? I don't remember. One of the games during the direct, he composed like town. a lot of. Oh, Little Town. town Hero. Yeah. Did they, even, did they even call it Little Town Hero? Or they did. They did. They yeah. called it Little Town Heroes. Okay. Um, and that's coming out in October. Yeah, which is wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Indeed. What nothing what's happening in December? December's kinda still I think they announced like an indie game this Yeah, something. maybe some third parties or something were coming on December. Just gonna play Pokemon this that's it, I'm playing Pokemon. That's what that's when I'm gonna this. that's when I'm gonna play Zimmer Chronicles Torna. The Torna DLC. Yeah. Gives me a chance yeah. to catch uh, up on that. Sabbath, I thought the direct was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, like I said, the only thing that I'm really kind of like in on is the Animal Crossing taking too long. Yeah. Especially because most of that content is yeah. already known. I don't think they showed a single thing that was new other than the fact that you can like eat apples for energy and like bait fish. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the only new things. But Banjo's cut, but Banjo Shadow Drop. Yeah. That's nuts. Okay, Super Nintendo games, Xenoblade yeah. HD. Isaac what? in the ch- in my chat and saying Sans. he he wanted to see more Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. I didn't think that was going to happen. But that was never expected. Yeah. It was never expected. I mentioned that as like a 1% possibility in my 
predictions video, but I definitely, like, I was like, that's not going to happen. Like, I was straight up like, yeah. I don't think this is happening. Yeah, the Kirby game, I mean, I didn't see all of it because the freaking Direct was buffering for everybody in the universe, apparently, or maybe only me, no, I don't know. So, I actually haven't even played Undertale. Um, that was Sans, right? Is that his name? Or yeah. Is it something else? That was Sans. Okay, who's Frisk? Frisk is the main character. So that's not even the main character. I no. Well, that. the main character doesn't really have any dialogue. They do have personality, but the, it depends on what you choose their personality to be. Like, there's different routes that you could do the game that determine their personality. So it, Sans makes more sense. Like, he has dialogue. He has a defined character to him. He makes more sense than Frisk. Okay. So he's... I mean, he's, he's a me costume, but he's the me costume doesn't look like a me. No, like the me costumes in this game look so much better than any of the me costumes in any of the other yeah. Smash games. <laughs> so good. So that's nuts, and it comes with music. Yeah. So that's, that's yeah. nuts. Yeah. Seventy-five cents, you get a practical sands and smash and music too. Like Insane. damn. People, yeah, wow. ra reasons are raised in my chat is like freaking out that Sans got announced. Yeah, that that's that's pretty awesome. I really like Undertale. I don't know if I'll buy his me costume because I don't ever play as the me characters, but it's cool that he's in. The me, you get the song though. You do get the song, so it's worth it. I think you, yeah, you have to like choose to have it playing. Is, though. is, is it Megalovania? Or is it just, is it I don't know. Um. I want to ask some questions um, in my chat. So, Sat with Adamy, he said, I thought for sure Re Rare Replay was going to be shown alongside Banjo. Me too. A lot of people did. It didn't happen. And then yeah. Sakurai teased Frickin it and said, oh, told us to play on an play, Xbox. He said, play Banjo on Xbox. I'm like, and he has smirk on his face. Bruh. <laughs> so, is there still, is there something in the works? Because the thing is, they even talked about, you know, the, like they talked about all oh, this world is so fleshed out could be its own game like mm. and they're like oh microsoft was they were all talking about how good their relationship was with microsoft and rare and like seriously look i, so I want to stress that just because bad is coming out now that doesn't mean there can't be a banjo kazooie game or right. rare replay coming on in the future people in my chat like, are like, freaking out about sans right now it, it, it doesn't you know um i saw something them demo i i'll bet that the newly announced dlc fires will all be first party characters i think there needs to be more th first party characters but there that doesn't i don't I think that outrules third party because moving forward he, he didn't even say that just, he didn't confirm another fire right. he just cons confirmed more dlc characters in the right game. and so. the way he mentioned like he was talking about like more worlds in smash so maybe they'll yes. all be from new um astral chain baby. ips and stuff yeah, Astral which I mean, kind of Rex and Pyra kind of kills that if you go nah, with that I completely. Don't think that, I don't think but not necessarily because that's, yes, early, cause that's Zuma Chronicles subtle. two, not Zuma Chronicles one. So I guess I think that if anything, you know, having Xenoblade come out, that gives more reason to have more Xenoblade characters come to Smash, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, with that, with Xenoblade Definitive Edition coming out soon. Yeah, I'm surprised and... they announced it now at DLC Pack 3's release. Like we're halfway through, yeah. or we're you know at the midpoint, well, I think part and they're of it already announcing because, more. I think part of it is because like they just one, it's gonna be a while before um, Terry comes out. I think, right? Yeah, November. It, it seems like Banjo and Hero kind of developed alongside of each other because I mean it's not that long. Did, two months. He said they did the presentation two. He recorded the presentation two days before yeah. after Hero. Well, I mean it makes sense. They had gameplay of like a bunch of gameplay at E3 for Banjo, so it makes sense that he would come out not that long after uh, Hero. Yeah, but J long. Terry definitely seems to be less done. But he's coming out in November, so it's probably like gonna be late November. They said November. Yeah. For Terry? Yeah, they specified November. I, mean, I completely missed that. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, that kind of, that literally fits up perfectly with what we thought. He's going to come out in November, and guess what? The, four, the fifth final character will be revealed in the Game Awards. And then next yeah. year, they'll have some sort of direct that'll reveal new DLC characters, or at least the next pack. Um, mm -hmm. Esteban Ravioli is asking, do you think Hayabusa is next? I don't know anymore. Um, I, I, I think, think it's up so, in the yeah. air. I think it's up in the air. 
Uh, he's definitely like a strong candidate, right? Um, and just you gotta look at what what we're getting. So for example, Fatal Fury, Terry, Ogar. That's not like a super popular character. It's gonna bring in a whole bunch of like it's not it's no Minecraft Steve, right? It, mm -hmm. This is it's not like Tracer from Overwatch. It's it's something that is which a was part never of gonna happen. A classic retro character. Red Ryu Hayabusa is the same as Terry in that regard. So it, yeah. It's that. This this fighters pass is let I think it is less about now like when you look you get Banjo you get Terry like it, it's it's not I don't I don't I no longer feel it's about getting the most talked about most modern relevant character nowadays right so everyone's right. talking about oh he's irrelevant well guess what it's not about relevancy it, it seems it's more about characters that are from really pop or from a, not really popular from an important gaming franchise right right I think that's an important distinction. How important so, do you think Ninja Gaiden is? Dude, I mean, that, that the series has been around since the, the, the NES. True. Um, it's very important. Uh, yeah. It's not, as big a, it's not as big today as it was then, but it, it's There's it's, a difference between a long-standing series and an important series. But I'll also say we're getting a lot of Bethesda support. Doom is really big. Yeah. At this point, I, I no longer think Ray Hayabusa is a shoe in the pack. Because of that, I I think he's definitely a sh really strong candidate considering the, where the sources are coming from, but there's other options, mm -hmm. and I think a Doom guy makes a lot of sense. Doom guy, uh, yeah. Doom guy is. In and, and yes, Sabbath. Um, the SNES games are free if you are a Nintendo yeah. Online member. Yeah, I never believed that they were gonna up the price. I thought the people who were like love leaks and the rumors for that, they were dumb. I was like, why would they raise the, why would they, off, why, why, <laughs> what's the point? Yeah. Why would they do that? Um, got another question from Sabbath. Are you disappointed that we didn't get break the targets in? Kind of sad about it, but I'm happy soccer brought back home on confidence. He said pretty much done with make with bring with bringing in new modes. Pretty mm -hmm. much. I, I like how he said pretty much. It kind of leaves the door open for. But not really. Yeah. So it probably just means maybe minor little things here and there in the future, but nothing major. So mm -hmm. I guess in that way, I'm a little disappointed. But Home Run Contest does look pretty nice, so I will take what I can yeah. get. I'm um, just curious about how how this was not done for the base game. Fair fair point. Such a and basic I'll, mode. I'll also say that because he's going going to continually work on DLC. I think a door is open to always add a new world in the future, but they're probably not going to work on anything while. Yeah. Um, nothing major. Yeah. And so that's what we're kind I of... I wasn't thinking. expecting Break the Targets or Bore the Platforms. And really, I think that's probably the two modes that would take the most work to do, like, right. Because on the NC4, they were like... Minus another adventure mode. Right. They they were very specific to each character. So you they were very well thought out to use every ability that each character uses. But there were only, you know, what, uh, 12 characters in that game? So. I'm actually really happy about the Super Nintendo stuff. Because I, I have a Super Nintendo Classic. Like, playing on Switch is so much more convenient. Yeah. I didn't buy a Super Nintendo Classic because I was like, oh, they're just going to. They're probably going to put them all on the, online, while, just like the NES happened. games. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they brought 20 from the get go. So that's pretty, yeah. pretty cool. I don't think I saw Earthbound, though. No, I didn't see Earthbound. Yeah, that's weird. Did you see some more RPG? I think so, yeah. I'll have to double check, but uh, it's interesting that Earthbound wasn't there. Yeah, I didn't I'll see that. I'll also double check that too, but it is interesting. Here, I have the list right here. We got Brawl Brothers, Demon's Crest, Joe and Mac 2, Kirby's Dreamland, Star Fox, Super EDF, Earth Defense Force, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, Super Poyo Poyo 2, Super Tennis. Breath of Fire, F Zero, Kirby's Dream Course, Pilot Wings, Stunt Race FX, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Super Soccer, and Legends of the Link to the Past. So, no, I thought I saw Super Mario RPG, but no. So neither Super Mario RPG or Earthbound. Interesting. Right. At the beginning, obviously they could add them later. Right. No, they they did confirm they're going to be adding more in the future. This is just the beginning. Right. It's still a great. I think start, Star Fox is the one I'm the most excited to play, honestly. There was no Star Fox 2 mentioned, though, right? No, no, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Maybe Super Metroid as well, because Super Metroid's cool. Yeah, you should definitely play Super Metroid. You have to. Um, 
Torpedo Rose Avenue. What about Xenoblade 3 characters coming to Smash? If this is Xenoblade 3, okay. Sure. But I think yeah, this is Rex and Pyra. Yeah. I will not give up. I kind of have slightly given up, pin up, but uh, not completely. Never. <laughs> Never. But how must stay alive? You just got your dream game, Brandon. I you did. You asked yesterday what would be your dream I game. I did. Literally, the first thing you said was... <laughs> Xenoblade HD oh, Xenoblade. oh, you guys know there is no way in hell I am not working directly after this. Well, I probably will put my reactions first, but then graphics comparison for that game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just bored. Yeah, I'm bored. Uh, yeah, Star Fox is still mad cool. at the Xbox insult. <laughs> I am also confused. Yeah, Vilbear, there's a pretty good selection of SNES games coming out tomorrow. It's, it's going to be good. I am also very confused. Um, I don't think that... I don't know what to make of what Jack Rice said there. Yeah, yeah. I'm lost. I was just so weird. He was weird. He was very weird. Very weird. I, I, th I, I want to say that someday soon, eventually it will come but it has not been announced yet so if you do really want to play banjo now yeah play on xbox <clears throat> maybe they just didn't have it just isn't ready right maybe that's what it is maybe it's a next year thing i could see it being a next year thing mm -hmm. could be Sour 64 maybe next year we'll get n64 games though. yeah maybe next year we will yeah maybe i was actually gonna say that earlier that that uh, maybe that's happen. how we'll eventually get Banjo Kazooie just through the and Nintendo online service. Maybe. Yeah, if they don't, I I. I would imagine they'd probably have a, NC four games ready for next year because they're gonna want another big like thing to push online again. Mhm. Mm no N sixty four classic not. though. That's that's the thing, that's weird. Hello there, Duma Play. How you doing? Uh, Esteban Ravioli asks, could we get a Sony rep for Smash Bros? I'm going to say no. Probably not. No. Nothing that's Sony exclusive. I mean, Crash, Spyro, that's different. They're not owned by Sony. right? They were just popular on PlayStation 1. Those can happen because they're not owned by Sony. But, like, for example, like, what, Droid from Uncharted or Kratos? Like, God of War, yeah, that's not going to Those happen. will never happen. Sony does not play nice with others these days no not to mention the banjo thing it's very close at home with nintendo fans so that's probably yeah. why nintendo and microsoft work together on that mm -hmm. um but i i don't know um i really hope banjo does come to smash just some capacity not i mean to, to, to obviously the smash already happened today right. i just mean just like a natural banjo game to switch right Hey, maybe we'll get that Banjo Kazooie remake based off of the graphics on the stage. Yeah. So Savage 64 added me and you, but I know you're not you're not in this chat. Yeah, but, I can't read um, that. What are your thoughts when Sakurai said that if Smash continues in the future that it won't be this huge again? Well the thing is, is that there's a lot of third party companies involved here with all of the rights involved. It's very tough. I mean, just look at happened with Spider Man. Between Disney yeah. and Sony. Like it's the biggest it's very bullshit hard. of the year. It, it is bullshit, but the, it just kind of the nature of the beast when you're dealing with rights to owned by different companies to get all these different companies involved all at the same time. Very challenging. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate they just trying to go in on this one. So we should appreciate the moment. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah. They're they're gunning for this to be the ultimate smash, and let's let's just try to enjoy it as much as we can. Uh, when is what time is Banjo coming? They didn't say, but la the last couple it's ones have been about eight. Yeah. Okay. We're about eight Central Standard Time. Typically. Com so. Computer OS added me again, guys. Like, come on. You have to understand that Banjo and Kazooie are currently owned by Microsoft. What do you guys want the man to say? Um, what do I want the man to say? So I want to say. No man. I want him to I say, guess. hey, you can now play it on the Switch. Well, but I mean, <laughs> what it, I want it, him to it, say. Also prop, that's not up to him, uh, right? To be fair. So. He right. had like a smirk. It, it, it seemed like kind of like a joke. He, maybe that's him acknowledging that hey, maybe someday we'll be on Switch. But also, we should probably just 
it's just a play on Xbox. I just it's such a weird thing, but Xbox. again, it is them working together. So, you know, uh, we'll have to see. But mm-hmm. if you have to play it now, Xbox sucks. What are you gonna do? Do you want plays? So, what was with Animal Crossing taking so long? They have plenty of time to sell a game. It also killed the pace of the direct one hundred percent. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, what it was. It doesn't make any Literally, sense. Literally, even though Animal Crossing is a good game, and I'm actually excited for it, I plan on getting it. That section completely killed the direct. Like that was yep. so slow. Yeah, I agree. Like, I was like, like we were at the 30 minute mark, and I was like, damn, we still have 10 minutes left. They're gonna show off some amazing stuff, and then we were like, it was just almost all Animal Crossing, um, which was yeah. pretty, pretty dull. I'm gonna be real. Yeah, I, uh, for sure. I don't understand why that was the case. Jammy D Media. Extra DLC characters in the next season will be Shantae and Gino. You know what? Shantae, Shantae Gino, Gino, Rex and Pyra. Yes. Jill Valentine, Leon S. Kennedy, Doom Guy. They're all coming, baby. Let's They're go. happening. How many characters do you think will be in the next set? I don't, like, know. I don't even know if it's going to be a pack. Right. They didn't like, say uh, there's another challenger pack. They just said more DLC is coming in the future. Yeah, we don't know. We we, we don't know how they're going to handle it this time. It yeah. might be just like Smash for Wii where they just announce a DLC character every once in a while. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that's my app. Because I, I might, feel like they might have... might lead it to be more Nintendo-focused. Right. I feel like if it was another Fighter's Pass, they would have said Fighter's Pack 2. They're, coming well, they're maybe they just haven't come up with the specifics for it. Like, they're still in the middle of right. this Fighter's Pass, right? So, they're probably just not even planning that. Because when they announced the Fighter's Pass, they were pretty close to having everything, like, having the plans, right? Because, like, a week later after the Fighter's Pass was announced, that even they announced that they, that they already knew who the full roster was. They just didn't announce it to us. Right. So, they probably just don't know exactly who it is. They have to plan that out. They're still in the middle of, of this current Fighter's Pass. So... Maybe once they have the plans are set in stone and they communicate with different companies involved because there may still be some third parties, mm-hmm. then they'll announce another another fighter's pass. Until then, they're not going to announce another fighter's pass. Right? So we'll have to wait right. and see on that. Let me see here. Yeah, Banjo and... does. What do you mean Banjo doesn't have anything to do with Nintendo? People in the comments are like, doesn't have anything. What? Literally, two of the three games... The only two games that are considered to be good, they're both on Nintendo exclusively for a long time. Mark Jacobs. I can see why some people want Banjo on Switch, but Microsoft needs a reason for people to buy an Xbox. Banjo mm, is You're hardly a reason. But that's not, yeah, that's also a good point. Like You don't I see know Andres what... over here buying an Xbox One, just play Banjo. Not yet, at least. That's, that's a lot of money for an old game. Yeah, it's just one game, man. There's yeah. emulators, they exist. Yeah, but that's illegal. Uh, yeah. I owned the N64 version, therefore, less legal. Therefore, it's okay? Yeah. Depending Not on who you ask, yeah, discussion. actually. Not going to get into that discussion. Nerdy Cabana is very hyped for Terry. I think he looks cool, man. I'm right there with you. I'm, I mean, I'm not, I'm not as hyped as you per se because I am not a Fatal Fury fan, but I dig it. I dig it, and I, I could see myself getting into it. Computer robots add me. Just to clarify, Sony only has the film right Spider Man, while Disney owns everything else, such as merchandising, etc. Yep. The, the important thing is the film rights, though. <laughs> Nobody cares if Disney makes the merch or not. Nobody gives a shit. It's weird. That whole deal is dumb. Esteban uh, likes how they didn't put mine the Terry reveal that blew people's minds. People thought she was in. Um, well, so they showed off Terry, but you know maybe Terry will still have a tag team mechanic. We don't know, right? Maybe or maybe she'll just maybe. be like a, a seems cameo unlikely in, in his stage. Could be like a cameo in, in his stage though. That could see yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. That was C4 added. Now, I got, I got a, a fair bit of things going on here. Um, was it really necessary for Nintendo to talk about Animal Crossing New Horizons this early? It's not releasing until March 2020. Yeah, I, se- I did think they would talk about it, Crossing. but this is kind of dumb. That was, it was a lot, man. The thing is, they didn't really show anything new. 
It was boring. That's the problem. If they had showed new stuff, then I would have been fine. Even so, that's a little bit long, though. I, I'm, I'm okay. I actually thought they were going to enjoying the direct. I just didn't think they yeah. would ruin everything with an eight, so nearly eight minute segment cutting off every. I just, no. Whatever. Didn't make Juno Play says also happy for Xenoblade Chronicles. Surprised that was the end of the direct. Uh, I, you know, I, I've been talking about Super Mario Odyssey sequel. I think that is happening, but the watermelon tweet has got nothing on it. It seems. Mm-hmm. I thought that I thought that was gonna be the final thing. And when I saw like waterfalls, I was thinking, oh my god, we are going back to uh, uh, what's the kingdom that? It's not Dinosaur Falls, but you know. Right, 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 right. Fossil like, Falls. Fossil Falls. I thought we were from like that first scene. I was like, oh, we're going back to. Oh, no, those freaking Xenoblade Chronicles. Right yeah, now. yeah, which is amazing. I'm, I'm very yeah. excited. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I, hmm, this might be. I don't know. You're probably gonna be like, oh no, but I'm more excited that they announced that than Super Mario Odyssey 2, only because I think that game is for sure coming, and this game was like a dream, like never gonna happen kind of game like eventually we're gonna get a new awesome 3d mario like this was not a eventuality yeah no i I'm, I'm with you there actually um now granted i think a new mario game would have had me more excited but i can right. understand what you're coming from because it was not a known quantity there wasn't that much evidence suggesting that we could get it it's it's one of those things that it was, we just kind of hope for it to happen someday, but we never think it would necessarily. So I'm happy about that. I really am. I mean, we're getting that instead of Xenoblade X port, which okay, but I mean, it kind of looks like Xenoblade X too, right? And really it reminds nice me more that, of Xenoblade Chronicles 2's art style, to be honest. But they're very it, similar. Well, I just mean like the environment, just like oh, this vast environment with the higher textures, and then. The higher resolution textures and the faces like they're they're clear they're not blurry messes anymore. Right. In fact, they they, those they look very like similar to Smash. In the DLC, I was gonna say the DLC models from Xenoblade Two. True, they have a li- they're not exactly the same. From what exactly I remember. the same. It's it's its own thing. But it's, it's kind of a mix thing. between like sm- his Smash form and that that form. It looks great. It looks really good. It really does. I mean, it doesn't look like it was made ground. You know, it, you know, like you can still tell like we game. I think a little bit. A little bit. Uh, I, I think the comparison to the original is going to start. better by the time it comes out. Yeah. I, I do think it's completely remade from the ground up. I just... It's a, it's a Monolith Soft game. They don't always... I feel like Monolith oh, Soft never... Details. Yeah. It's more about scope. Yeah. Monolith Soft, their games look good, but they never push the boundaries of, you know, graphical fidelity. You know what I mean? Like, Zimbabwe Chronicles 2 looks great, but nobody's going to be like, man, that looks like a straight up next gen game you know and this is probably a smaller project than a new xenoblade game you know so and it, it, it's it's not the same as like remaking something like crash bandicoot it's much a smaller it's a much smaller game even if there are three of them like this is a freaking a hundred hour rpg <laughs> With ginormous it's huge, environments. I hope they do some things to change up the gameplay a little bit. I mean, it's been years since I played it, so I'm probably going to play it over. Yeah. Um, but I, 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 I always want more content. Mm-hmm. I always ask for more. I'm an insatiable fan. Yeah, Vilbert, I thought we were going to get... Um, you. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought they were going to get an export. He thought they were going to get Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and an export. I just thought there would be an export. But that's not what well, we got. I never said that. No, Vilbert. Oh, 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 well, you know, this doesn't mean we can't get a Xenoblade X4 in the future. Right, right. I, I, I think that might happen eventually. Reasons Racing says if they were adding a tag battle, they probably would have included his teammates in the reveal in some way, however small. I agree. I don't think it's a tag team thing. It's still possible, I guess, probably. but I don't. Probably it's a very because, small. Like, like it would have been, like, because then it would have been more like a Pokemon trainer thing. Right, yeah. And they would have shown more than one character in that that picture or the image that shows the character. So I, 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 I'm inclined to agree with you. That's probably what it is. If anything, maybe my could be a cameo. That, that I think that's pretty yeah. much the extent of what we could expect. Although maybe they could have the female Terry as an alt. True, that's still possible. We still don't know about that. Maybe. 
Uh, Computer Robot says he has the N64 version of Banjo-Kazooie and the Xbox 360 version. Cool. Which I don't have prefer? either of those. I'd assume he'd prefer the Xbox 360 since they're the same, but the Xbox 360 is in 1080p. Esteban is really screen. asking, do you think Dante from Devil May Cry is possible? Yes, a Devil May Cry is possible. Definitely. Devil possible. May Cry things. I mean, Capcom and Nintendo have a strong yeah, relationship. Yeah. Definitely possible. Is that likely... I feel like a Resident Evil character from Capcom is more likely, or a Monster Hunter character is more likely, in my opinion. Yeah. But Dante is definitely possible. So, you know, and with more DLC, the, the door is open. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Jordan Dropout, how you doing? I, I think he was saying that, that it was Cascade Falls. Maybe Cascade Kingdom Fossil. I think it's Cascade Kingdom mm-hmm. Fossil Falls. Yeah, that's what well, it is. Want... It's Cascade Kingdom okay. Fossil Falls. There you go. Stab64 added me. I wasn't he- here when you were streaming the direct, but what games did you scream by too, by the way? Well, I'll be putting up re- like a couple. Yeah. I'm probably going to put up my reaction to there being DLC, the Sans Me costume, and Xenoblade Definitive Edition. Right. Those are the three that I my, I'll on probably the do the Smash, my Smash reactions and my Xenoblade reactions. Oh, and Terry. And Terry. Yeah. I'll probably but put up. I might. I don't know. I might make it two videos. I might just put it with one, just like Smash reactions. I don't know. Cause I want to get into the uh, graphics comparison. So. Yeah, which is why we're probably gonna cut this this discussion. Uh, clo- we're gonna cut this quote. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna end the stream very soon. Mm. And then Let me see here. Tomorrow quick, I'll just... probably try out uh, banjo on stream. So. Oh, actually, guys. Um. If that's going to happen soon, I'm going to try and get on Twitch. Uh, I haven't fired up Twitch in a while. So, nice. guys, follow me on Twitch. I may stream Banjo as soon as it goes live today. So we can play that together. Mm-hmm. Um, once I put up the reactions, I'm going to check for Banjo, and I'll probably go live in a couple hours as soon as Banjo comes out in a couple hours. So pay attention. Um, I will put it up on the community tab. I'll post it on Discord and Twitter. But I will be streaming um, Banjo tonight, assuming it comes out soon on this on on Twitch. So nice. I think you might as well. Um, yeah, I would do it tonight, but it's kind of late. Uh, probably do it. Do it tomorrow. Indeed, but I'm just gonna gonna do it. I'll play for like an hour or so. Nice. On just restart is me. Yep. Savages were adding me. Are you surprised they didn't show the Pikmin? Mmm. Uh, that's a good point. Um, yeah. No Pikmin. They, they did have, show off Tokyo Mirage session, Sessions on. That's coming out next year, yeah. right? Uh, what, is it, what, what date do we get for that? Let's it was just one of those things where I just wasn't really, like, that into it. It's not my type of game. Okay. Oh, it won't let me. It won't let me check the... Check back. It is available for, for pre-purchase later today, so it can't be that far away. Oh, January, yeah, January 17th, 2020, okay. But it's already okay. available for pre-purchase, which is interesting. So I don't know what's going on with Pikmin. I'm going to be real with you. Dude, um, the Pikmin the series has just been getting canned. It's just been getting the shaft. I don't understand. Don't look at thing. I told you Pikmin died. We'll have to see. I don't think it's dead. I think it's, it's definitely dormant. Yeah, I don't understand what's happening with it. Yeah. Sanish Joe, I got dunked on. I see you changed your avatar to Sans. Sans. Will Squirt, did a Smash character get revealed? Yes. Uh, Terry Bogard is coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And, mm. and Sans is coming to Smash Brothers. But it's a me costume. But it looks like a playable character. And it comes with music, which is sick. It's pretty awesome. You need to play Undertale. I think you'd enjoy it. I really do. Maybe I'll... Uh, I, I, I want to try to get back to streaming a little bit more. I'm going to try and do a better job of that. Nice. Um, I think part of the thing is just kind of like... Because I don't have many followers on Twitch. So like when I'm streaming and mm-hmm. no one's watching, I'm like, okay. No one's watching. I might as well just play this game on my own time. Right. Um, and it, it's time consuming. So... I feel you. But at least try to stream maybe... We'll see. I don't want to make any promises, but more frequently. Well, will that be all for the discussion, or do we have any last I'm still questions? getting some questions. Okay. Um, 
Computer Robots, add me. The Smash Ultimate Fighters page has been updated. It has it. Okay. Um, Makes sense. Actually, let me see. I might, I might, we might take a gander at that right now, guys. We'll Fans, fans, this is Smash Brothers. I can't, just, I can't believe. It doesn't seem to be updated for me. Challenger Pack Four is still me, empty. It's like version five point oh available. Um, oh, weird. Fourth. All that data is there. Um, maybe I'm on the wrong website. Maybe this you is, are. I don't understand how it's literally just the Smash website. I didn't realize, and then, it is interesting that Terry's already like the November. Like they gave us the month. Like they're not gonna leave that up for speculation. Like. That's it. That's the month. All right. I Here we go. Really cool. This one's been updated. I think. Danjo and Kazooie. Yep. Okay. This one's been updated. There's like two Smash sites for some reason, and the one of them hasn't been updated. <laughs> I don't understand why that is, but it's the case. Oh, interesting question. Uh. Smash to me. Wait a minute. Where will Megalovania be played in Smash? Uh, you can choose it, I guess. You can choose to have the other, because there's some like music in the other section that doesn't come up for specific stages. So you have to like choose to have it played. So being under miscellaneous, you have to pick it. Yeah. Wow. It'd be neat if they defaulted. You can change the costumes what if, or characters. What if it was defaulted to being? It, what if it, its default is it has a chance of playing in every single Earth on stage? In every single what stage? Earthbound. Oh, that'd be interesting. Right, because isn't it isn't Undertale like a, supposedly some sort of spiritual successor to the Earthbound series? Sort of. Sort Did of. Did you know you can spirit. change? You can see all the costumes for characters by clicking on them. After you go and like into their character, like you know, you go to the character play, you click on character, oh, you can click I'm on doing them, that right now. and you can I'm change that out right So now. you can Ooh. see all of Banjo's different alternate skins. By clicking on yeah. it. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. Because it actually, it's like, it changes, like, the actual color. Not just the color, yeah. like, for Kazooie, like, there's white next to its eyes, like, an eyes of, that they don't normally, it's only mm. just one flat color on the head, and it's more than one. The last color. one's Gruntilda. It's all purple, and you got yeah, the green that. skin. That's, pre that's some pretty cool colors, actually. The white I like black that. one's the bear, right? The, there's a white polar yeah, bear. Yeah, the that polar bear. Off of. Name. What's the pink one for? Um, Mumble Jumbo? Maybe. I think so. Probably. I think that's the most obvious one. And then the other one... It's not Monty Mole? No? I, I don't know why I said Monty Mole. <laughs> that's Brock. Monty Mole is not a banjo. Uh, bubbles, right? Yeah. Bottles? Um, bottles, not bubbles. Bottles, yeah, not, 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 not that one. Boomba Moyo. Animal Crossing was amazing, but I would have liked to see more new features of the game. They didn't show much new things. Yeah. That's the yeah. I was hyped yeah, was to see more stuff. It would have been great, but it was just mostly yeah. the same stuff. And, and it was too long. Like, seven, even seven minutes of new yeah. stuff would have been... Like, they should have been snappy over that. I don't understand why they felt the need to recap. Like, it's just a waste of time. It really was. This court uh, added me. If this direct was underwhelming, it would probably be... Too high to out of nothing yet revealed to make you think that's it. Um, it wasn't underwhelming for me. I I think it was, it was a solid director. It's probably like it eight out of direct. ten. I just did it. It's good. Eight out of ten, I think is fair. Um, eight out of ten. Yeah. Well, the they threw in the whole banjo segment um, afterwards, which was cool. No, I and fans, I don't it. Eight, eight-ish, maybe eight point five for me. I stick them with eight. Solid eight for me. Um, I think I was either on the European or Australian Smash website. I don't think so, Computer Robots, because it was like it was like a completely different like layout to everything. Like it wasn't even like the same content. Like it was completely like maybe it was that. It, it is like the European and Australian websites suck because they don't have nearly any of the features that the American and Japanese ones have. Like it's not the same site, but in a different language or 
it's like a completely different thing. I was actually also hoping for a comp for me costume Savage sixty four. Yeah, that would have been cool. Even like I think a Steve me costume actually would have been cool. Honestly. Um I think that could have been it would have been interesting. I thought that was gonna happen. But yeah. no. No, And of course that. Master Chief me costume would have been hype as hell. Very much. Yeah. For sure. But Sans. Sans. So Sans. Sans is cool. I love Undertale. Sans is awesome. It's That's just like really cool. unexpected. I'm, and the other I'm ones sure. were just like okay. Oh, other than Gomon. Gomon's actually awesome. Actually, yesterday when we were talking about our, our dream games, I was going to mention Gomon, but I was like, um, just barely didn't mention Gomon 64, actually. Or Gomon's Great Adventure. I forget exactly what it's called. I never play the game, so I, I just... Yeah. I used to play that game all the time in the N64. It's pretty good. It's pretty hard, though. Or at least I thought it was when I was young. Um... Esteban asks me, what company do you think would be Fighter Five? I have, I don't know. Um, Square could maybe get Lark. Um, Bethesda could maybe get Doom Guy. Capcom could get a Resident Evil representative or multiple. Uh, uh, I guess Tecmo could still be Ryo Hayabusa. Mm -hmm. So those are I the really, ones I have in mind. I really hope it's Doom Guy. I hope it's Rex and Pyro. <laughs> if, it, if not going to be, yeah. not for this fight this pass. Maybe in the future. Devaluki thought all of the outfits were horrible. Wow. <laughs> I don't Oof. feel the same. I, I thought, thought the Mega cool Man ones were okay. It was just like, eh. I don't feel yeah, the I didn't need for, for the them. Mega Man ones, um, but I was excited to see the um, Pokemon, uh, the team Team Rocket and Sans. So yeah, Team Rocket was cool. cool. I'm I'm like I'm not even a big Pokemon person, and I thought that was that was actually really cool. Yeah. And uh, Esteban, do I think Tracer had for much still have a chance? I'm what? Say small. that again. It, do I think Tracer has a chance? Oh no. Tracer. I mean, overwhelmed. there's always a chance, but no. There's always a chance, but the chance is really small yeah. at this point. Like I thought. I thought it wasn't going to happen before. And before the leaks of Ryu Ayabusa and Terry from Fatal Fury, the premise of like Tracer coming in with Overwatch and there being a Smash character reveal because of the timing and because there hasn't been any female reps, all of that kind of made it make some sense. But now that timing is no longer there, so mm -hmm. it's less likely to me. It was never super likely to begin with. Like It was like a possibility. Right now, I would say that possibility. Yeah. That, like, I I didn't down. even ever think Fair it was bit. a possibility. I mean, there's always that one percent chance something could happen. I, mean, I would I would but... say it's more than one. I would say two or three, which is okay. still not much. Right? <laughs> Whatever. Um, I'll give you two or three. Fine. But yeah. I, I, it's basically nothing in my mind. It's basically not happening. Like there's just so many other characters that make just way more sense, especially if they're going for that kind of gaming history thing. Like there's no gaming history with Overwatch. It, that's the game came out in like what 2016 when did overwatch release overwatch yeah it's not that recent so um 2016 okay, I, I, yeah that I, game came I, out I, 2016 i think i i should definitely put out those reactions take a yeah. small little break and i will be going on twitch so follow me on twitch guys on just discord will be po I'll posted on discord i'll post it on, on youtube and i'll post it on twitter so check mm -hmm. it out and I mean, I know, Brandon, you're also streaming, so do your thing. Yeah, I'm going to have my reactions to, obviously, Smash and probably, or well, definitely Xenoblade, and probably I'll just leave the rest up because, honestly, I think those were the ones that I really got, like, a reaction out of. And then uh, graphics comparison for Xenoblade. That's, that, those are the big things that are going to be coming out. Today, I'm hoping to get... I, I can probably get the graphics analysis out today, actually, or the comparison, because that won't... There's not that much footage that was shown. And I know a pretty easy way of grabbing, like, high-quality footage of the game. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, we'll see you guys later. Yeah. Take care. Bye, guys.